counting sort algorithm using Python. What is counting sort algorithm? Counting sort algorithm is an algorithm that can be used to sort numbers. It can be used instead of sort or sorted method, which is a hybrid sorting algorithm called introsort. Time differences between introsort and counting sort. For introsort to sort out the list above, it took 0.0025 seconds. However, for counting sort to sort the same list, it took 0.0032 seconds. Looking at the time complexity, where n is the number of elements in the list, and k being the range of the elements, both methods can be faster in different situations. First, let us set up our data. We first create an input our test data and make another list for counting our test data, which will be called the counter data. The length of the counter data will equal to the range of values in test data plus one. Finally, we'll make an empty list for appending our results later on. Let's move on to counting data. Each value inside our test data will be turned into an index of counter data using a for loop. For each item index, we'll add one to its value. For the first item in test data, which is two, the second index of counter data will have a change of plus one. The second item, which is one, will have an index of one, so we'll add one to it as well. Continue this cycle to have our counter data complete. Finally, we'll be appending our data into another list. First, append items using for loops and conditionals. For each item from the counter data, if they are not zero, meaning that the count of the number is not zero, therefore existent in the list. The index of the item will be appended into the sorted list according to the counted value. For index zero, there is a count of one, so we will append one zero into the sorted data. For index one, there is a count of two, so we will append two ones into the sorted data. We will continue this cycle until our sorted data is complete. Here is our final code. We first set up our data into list, then we counted our data using our test data, and finally used the counted data to sort our test data and appended them into our results list. Thank you for watching my tutorial on counting sort algorithms.